The United States Missile Defense Agency conducted flight test ground-based mid-course defense 12, or FTG-12, which demonstrated the ability of the ground-based interceptor to engage a threat representative target with countermeasures. FTG-12 was an operational flight test designed to demonstrate an engagement using a two three-stage selectable ground-based interceptor, or GBI, in two-stage mode, which intercepted an IRBM-class target with countermeasures. Once fielded, this capability will give the warfighter greater flexibility in executing the defense of the homeland, while significantly increasing the battle space for successful threat engagement. To observe and collect complete test data from target launch to intercept, MDA assets were positioned at locations spanning thousands of miles, from the broad ocean area in Hawaii in the Pacific Ocean to Vandenberg Space Force Base in California and Schriever Space Force Base in Colorado. The FTG-12 flight test event followed months of extensive planning, analysis, ground testing, and hardware processing. The FTG-12 flight test was initiated when an IRBM target was air-launched from a C-17 in the broad ocean area. Soon after target liftoff, the Army-Navy Transportable Phased Array-2 radar, or ANTPY-2 radar in forward-based mode, acquired and began tracking the target complex. The ANTPY-2 forwarded the target track data through the Command, Control, Battle Management and Communications, called the C2BMC, to the GMD Fire Control Node. The GFC used the data to cue the C-based X-band radar for target acquisition. SBX acquired, tracked, and discriminated the target from its test support position, utilizing enhanced discrimination software, and forwarded tracking and discrimination data to the GFC as the target proceeded on its flight path. Warfighters exercised operationally realistic tactics, techniques, and procedures, and at the proper moment, enabled and initiated launch of the GBI. After the first stage burnout and separation, the second stage ignited and adjusted the trajectory to fly the EKV to the proper separation point. Following separation from the combined second and third stage booster assembly, the EKV received target trajectory updates from the SBX radar. Utilizing data from its onboard sensors, the EKV performed target acquisition and target object discrimination. The EKV maneuvered to engage, intercept, and negate the target. Data collected during the test will continue to be analyzed in order to validate and verify models and simulations used to evaluate system performance. The results of this test will also validate the operational capabilities of the GMD system and provide the warfighter with confidence in responding to potential enemy ballistic missile threats. FTG-12 was an important milestone in the development of the ground-based mid-course defense system and will support fielding of the two three-stage selectable GBI capability and supporting MDS capabilities that will provide the warfighter greater flexibility in executing missile defense of the homeland by expanding the engageable battle space. The ground-based mid-course defense system is a critical element of the nation's overarching missile defense system. In the face of an increasing enemy ballistic missile threat, the missile defense system is deployed to protect the nation, our deployed forces, and our friends and allies against enemy long-range ballistic missile threats.